Welcome to his aircraft engineered and today we are on the Airbus A320 IAE V2500 engine. So this is the electronic engine control unit which is the heart of the FADEC, the full authority digital electronic engine control. The FADEC controls all functions of the engine. It uses data from sensors, reading engine temperatures, engine pressure, fuel flow, air density and much more to automatically adjust engine settings to optimize performance. However, today our attention is not on the FADEC as a whole, but on this component right here. This is the EEC dedicated alternator. It's a permanent magnet alternator, which has two independent sets of stator windings and supplies two independent three-phase frequency wild AC outputs to the EEC. So these two unregulated AC supplies are rectified to 28 volts DC within the EEC. So in a nutshell, uh, the EEC are the brains of the engine and this powers the brain. Over and above the vital responsibility of powering the EEC, the dedicated alternator also provides the EEC with N2 speed signal. To fully understand how the unit operates, let's open it up and see what's inside. With our job setup done as per the aircraft maintenance manual, let's start by removing the connectors. So for redundancy, the EEC has two separate channels, channel A and channel B. Each channel can exercise full control of the engine. So as you can see here, we've got two connectors with one powering A and the other channel B. So one of the connectors has an added responsibility of sending the N2 speed signal to the EEC. So our connector two is safely removed. Now we go for our connector one. Now, once our electrical connectors are disconnected, we can now go and disconnect the cooling tube. So while our permanent magnet alternator is at work, uh, it generates a lot of heat. So that's why we have this uh, cooling tube. So after we disconnect the cooling tube, we'll go for the mounts. And when the mounts are out, our unit is out. So the big question now is what happens if the dedicated alternator fails? So, in the event of a dedicated alternator total failure, the EEC is applied from the aircraft 28 volts DC bus bus. 28 volts DC from the same source is also used by the EEC during engine starts until a dedicated alternator comes online at approximately 10% N2. So yes, our alternator comes online at approximately 10% N2 and it supplies EEC power requirement. So the switching is automatic and it's uh, controlled by the EEC. Okay, so this is the dedicated alternator rotor. So this is one that spins as the engine turns and induces electrical current on these what you call stators. So these inside them, they've got winding. This is the old one and this is the new one that we're just uh, installing right now. So it's just basic electromagnetic induction, but uh, that's how it works and that's how our EEC is powered. So thank you for watching, like and follow for more. Ciao.